GM is the largest American investor in Poland, and now we're moving from the largest investor to a little bit smaller company that has just celebrated the 20th anniversary of Operation Krakow Poland, Mr. John Lynch. Thank you. Is it working? I thought you were going to say the smallest company in Poland. <laughs> Thank God you saved me. So uh, it's good to be here. As Monica mentioned, I, I'm looking at investing in Poland and doing business in Poland from a very personal perspective because it's a company, Link, that I founded uh, 20 years ago. Uh, and I think of the, of the many speakers today, it's, it's weighed fairly heavily towards uh, corporates, so large corporations. Uh, and there's a few speakers who are from more of the entrepreneurial, small, medium-sized manufacturers which we have a quite a different perspective on, on the market and what's happening, very practical one. And we don't have orders coming from headquarters somewhere. Many manufacturing operations are really not sales operations, they're just manufacturing. So someone else is selling the product, moving the, the orders to Poland and producing here. Donnelly is actually closer to us because Donnelly is a, a fully uh, a selling and operating, the, the, almost a self-entity. So the entrepreneurial perspective is really running a business overall. And um, what I noted uh, in my 21 years of being here is the, the simple question, why would you invest in Poland or why would you do business in Poland? The answer to that question has changed so dramatically in the last 20 years. Uh, I, I've been speaking to, I've been on the AmCham for, for 20 years, been on the board for, I guess, 10 or 12, and founded the uh, Southern Poland branch about 15 years ago. And we've had many, many uh, American investors come in. Uh, one of the first ones was Motorola a long time ago. And, and I've been a part of the discussions with quite often my fellow American compatriots saying, okay, John, we've seen the presentations, now tell us the truth. Why, why should we invest in Poland? And, and if I look at the reasons why American investors came to Poland uh, 15, 20 years ago, cheap labor in the European context is, had to have been, whether everybody pretended that it was number three or four on the list, it was probably really number one on the list. Right? If you're a large manufacturer, cheap labor is an important reason to come somewhere, right? Um, big internal markets was always high on the list. 38 million people, uh, we all know that European accession back in 2004 was really about Poland, because Poland was more than all the other eight countries combined. So big internal market was important. Uh, so many manufacturers, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, came to Poland to produce here and sell here. Yeah, and that was all the, the challenge was, again, about selling and manufacturing in Poland. And, and uh, I recall quite often quantity of labor was a big issue. So particularly in the auto industry, Poland was competing with Slovakia and Czech Republic quite often, and the answer came out, well, there's a great markets, and at a time 15 years ago, people were saying a lot of very positive things, more positive things about Czech and Slovakia than about Poland, until they realized they were running out of employees. So actually not having that big labor pool turned out to be quite a strategic negative for smaller countries. So, you know, the markets are efficient and the words get spread and Poland miraculously got much better at selling itself. I received a report from uh, Pais uh, 10 years ago on why to invest in Poland and it looked a lot like you would expect from some Państwowy organ, uh, not so uh, slick, uh, missing some of the most important points. And I asked Dorota for a contact about two weeks ago I received a brand new PowerPoint presentation from the Polish Agency for Foreign Investment and it could have been prepared by McKinsey. Extremely professional, they understand USPs, the presentation goes straight into the heart of why uh, Poland is the place to be. It has all of the charts with the benchmarks of where Poland is competitive. It has completely changed the picture 
than 15 or 20 years ago. So cheap labor, big internal market, and quantity of labor were the pluses, and the minuses were infrastructure. You know, I, I remember when my company, we started from zero, we had three people, then we had 15. When we had 15 people, we had one telephone line. We couldn't get more telephone lines. Now, this sounds like the Stone Ages, but that's the practical problems we had. We, UPS wasn't here, DHL wasn't here. We couldn't get our product from Krakow to Warsaw. So we would drive it in, you know, Maui Fiat with Przeczepa. <laughs> uh, so the GM didn't have these type of problems, and, and Donnelly may have in the beginning, but you know, the challenges were extremely difficult, different and very difficult for entrepreneurs. And, as everyone knows, the large majority of people in every country are employed by small medium enterprises and not corporations. So the challenges of running manufacturing business have also changed dramatic dramatically. Um, the other minus in Poland was bureaucracy. Um, you know, Mayor Ushok, I don't know if he's still here, has uh, uh, gained a reputation of being the quintessential friendly government face to do business with. You meet. Uh, someone like him, you meet um, uh, the mayor of uh, Wrocław, and the foreign investors come away saying, wow, we can do business with these people. So, so what was a minus 15 years ago, the smart cities and regions have turned into a big plus. They've become very good at marketing their regions and offering support. Uh, and that actually translates to the last thing, which is the image of Poland. And the image of Poland in 1991 through 1995 was a country with fantastic potential that was rather gray and rather backwards and had a long way to go. Uh, and, and, the, and the presentations weren't so good and the city officials weren't so good. Uh, and, and people came here despite that, but it was more in the minus column than in the plus column. Uh, and I look today, the reasons why people are setting up manufacturing in Poland or operations in general, and uh, the reasons are not the cheap workforce, but the educated workforce. It's the management teams. I have a friend who runs a very, very large global corporation, and she's in charge of all of Central Eastern Europe, down to Turkey, including Russia, and she says the only managers in the region that they can export to be country managers of other countries are the Polish managers. That the Polish top management is absolutely at the equivalent of the German, uh, English, and American top management. So they don't need any more to bring tons of Americans over to run the Romanian operation. They could take a poll and move them there. And she said it's not any other country in the region. Now, there might be incidents, and I apologize for the other Central European residents here today. I'm not meant to, to slight that, but it's, uh, it's a radical change from 15 years ago when this meeting would be full of 30% American expats who were running the GM plant or the Coca-Cola plant. They're long, long gone. So uh, not low cost, low management, but, but fairly high cost, high management has become a big plus for doing business in Poland. Next, not just the big internal market, but close to the big EU internal market has become, I think, almost reason number one. Because as Jan pointed out, um, the business I'm in, we make uh, clothing for companies. You know, we make uniforms for factories, we make uniforms for McDonald's or for KFC. And the clients want that product in 14 days. They're not going to wait 90 days from the factory in China. So my industry is not going away to China. It's going away from Germany and Oslo and uh, Finland to Poland, but it's not going away to China. So the opportunity, I don't see China as a threat at all for Polish manufacturing. Certain sectors, yes, but in general, net-net, I think Polish manufacturing is uh, really looking at uh, good, good days ahead. Um, the next is quality of labor, not just quantity of labor. Um, the next is business friendly. Poland, I used to give a little speech about what are the top 10 problems for entrepreneurs in Poland. And these things used to be on the list of the big problems. And Poland has become, voila, a business friendly country. It's relatively low taxes, it's fairly, it's less bureaucratic, lots and lots of uh, improvements in that area. Uh, which translates into the image of Poland. 
And so the image of Poland now, and it's more than just the, you know, the, the elite and the uh, uh, cognizant have known that Poland is not the Poland of your grandmothers, right? It's not the old gray post-communist Poland. It's a new dynamic country. Now that word's getting down to everybody. Part of it because of the two million Poles that moved to Ireland, England, and Western Europe during the last 10 years. In my industry, I talked to uh, colleagues, and it's an entire industry run by entrepreneurs. It's not too many corporates. I talked to my friend in Holland. Oh yeah, our, our warehouse, our magazine is full of 50% Poles. They're the hardest working, best working people we have in the factory. Talk to the ones in Ireland, everybody's Polish in the factory. Uh, talk to the ones in Cornwall, and it's 35% Poles. So they now understand my secret of why I'm located here which is actually a danger because they, they, they're going to be coming over here too. Unfortunately, um, time is running, John, and sorry. I Sorry. So <laughs> that is, that's my conclusion of, of, uh, of 20 years of doing business and manufacturing in Poland.